Vlogging in public and getting the confidence to be on camera can be a little bit difficult in the beginning. Today we're going to talk about how to overcome camera shyness. We are the love survivors. We are the lucky ones. We are the so So the reason why we're talking about this today is because recently I've gotten quite a few messages that are all very similar that go something like, Hey Flo, I really want to start a channel, but I'm kind of shy and it feels super awkward to put myself on camera. What do I do? How do I solve this? And since we've got quite a couple of things to do today and one is going grocery shopping and that's the only time where I can actually have time today to film a video and I have to vlog in public, I thought this could be the perfect day to talk about that. Solitude. So the first thing I would want you to realize is that you're definitely not alone in this. It's pretty much everybody who films themselves in the beginning struggles with that. I personally had massive problems with this in the beginning. So when I started my travel vlogging series last year, I in the beginning just filmed myself and I didn't even talk to the camera because I felt it was so awkward. The way I solved it then is I just filmed myself and afterwards I recorded a voiceover to it. Because let's be honest, it does look quite ridiculous when you record yourself like this, doesn't it? And here's a funny clip of me being awkward a couple of days ago when I was recording another vlog. Yeah, that's pretty much how awkward it feels sometimes. By the way, we're at the most important part of grocery shopping right now. Ida is trying to find something sweet for tonight because it's Saturday. And so I personally, I'm more like an introverted person. I'm not really comfortable putting myself on camera. So in the very beginning, it was very awkward for me. And it feels a little bit like jumping from a five meter tower in the swimming pool when you're actually afraid of heights or maybe being scared of spiders, that kind of thing. But as with pretty much everything in life, there's a pretty easy way to solve it. And that is just simply time and practice. And for especially stuff like, for example, being scared of spiders or heights, I'm walking around in circles because it's awkward. The best solution is always exposure therapy. And do you understand what I mean by exposure therapy? Simply Simply exposing yourself to that thing that you're actually most afraid of gradually even more and more step by step and that's basically how I did it so first I started just filming myself without talking and then I did talking to the camera in a road where nobody could listen and now I'm actually filming myself in a supermarket where there's like probably like 50 people all around here and being all focused on recording my video I kind of lost Ida but I think there she is yeah there she is so what you most likely didn't know before that actually before I started making videos for like two or three years even I was thinking of starting making YouTube videos but because I was so camera shy and afraid of recording myself I know it sounds awkward now but hey it was that way back then I just didn't do it and it took me two or three years until I finally had built up the courage to put myself on camera so if you're struggling with that you're definitely not the only one Ida is still not really used to the German supermarkets she's gonna learn so salad sauce salad sauce salad sauce <laughs> actual thing is now like two three years later I'm pretty angry at myself that I just actually stopped myself from not feeling comfortable enough to put myself on camera that's really not a good excuse for not making videos if you have something to say because the big thing you need to realize there is that nothing bad can actually happen but like literally what are the consequences if you do this except from a few people looking at you weirdly babe can you just look at me weirdly can you just look at me weirdly for being vlogger that's literally the only thing that can happen and yes it's a little bit awkward but other than that pretty much no consequences The only thing that does sometimes happen is that people ask you what you're doing there. And then a little bit of a pro tip, I just talk English and pretend that we're being tourists. Because tourists are pretty much the only people that are socially allowed to have cameras in their faces, photograph them and take videos all the time. But that's just the way we do it. New from the first time I saw ya. You are not like the other. And so the thing you really need to understand that being camera shy or not being comfortable in front of camera really comes from two things. And that is number one, lack of practice, and number two, fear of judgment. A new kind of ecstasy. And so the solution in the end is therefore fairly simple, and that is to get a shit ton of practice. So whenever you can, put the camera in your face, even if you don't intend to upload the video to YouTube, it makes a lot of difference. And I actually did that before I started vlogging. I just recorded myself a whole lot of times, and then I actually afterwards deleted the footage, just to get more comfortable with putting the camera in my face. <laughs> And of course we forgot something, we didn't buy any bananas. Now we're not gonna take the car, we're just gonna take a little walk and finish our grocery shopping for today. <laughs> so 
So okay, now that you know that you have to practice, I want to leave you with a couple of tips that could make it a little easier for you to step by step increase yourself and become less camera shy and camera awkward. The first and easiest thing is to find some sort of a room or an area location where there's literally nobody else except from you and the camera so you don't feel judged or watched or criticized by anyone. Because she's always making the weird looks when I'm recording myself and then she's like, oh, that looks awkward how he's recording himself in public. So if you're camera shy, you shouldn't walk around with your judging girlfriend because that makes it a whole lot more difficult. You'll find a different side of me. And also when you have to record yourself in public, you can either make it somewhere where a lot of people stand or you just do it in the last corner of the store. Another option is to record yourself either with sunglasses or when you already look funny or unrecognizable anyway. Would you have guessed it is me? Probably not. By the way, tomorrow I'm gonna take you with me on a bike race, but you'll see about that in the next video. And so that's it for today. After all, there's no magic to it, just a little bit of practice. That's it for today's video. See you tomorrow. Come in. The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah